so I don't know what just happened there. Yes! Wrong. Just want to remind you who the more relevant model is. This is me. I'm called Max. I'm from London and I interview people. Oh God. Do you I hate cross -mancer. Do you? We are the perfect demographic for this in Marjorie. <laughs> and this... Well, this is Maximus Bucharest. One of the most famous models... Are you wearing Maximus! 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 ...in the world. He's been to the top of London and Paris Fashion Week, been a muse for the top brands, and been in publications across the globe. Oh yeah, he's also quite famous in China. Was it? I mean, that's pretty big, isn't it? But since his appearance at the Balmain show at Paris Fashion Week in 2019, he's been lying low, hasn't been seen. Why are you taking pictures of me? Some have said that he's lost his touch and has been replaced by Alicia Verde, the model of the moment. <laughs> but Maximus doesn't agree. Hello, Elizabeth. Do you be walking a walk or just talking a talk? Instead, he's been working away to show the world that he's still number one. I've always been told that if you want something in this world, you might as well go ask the biggest fish in the pond. And in the billboard world, that particular poisson is Clear Channel, a company that had revenues of $2 billion and has 5,900 employees. Now normally, brands pay millions of pounds to get on these billboards, even the top of the top on YouTube have to fork out some serious cash. 25k for a f billboard. It's a lot of money, okay? I need $10,000 from you. $10,000? Yeah. For what? But Maximus was going to get it for free. A quick Google told me where the Clear Channel's offices were in London and the name of their head honchos, the people who could make this happen. So I put on my big boy pants and walked in and pretended I had a meeting. Hiya. Sorry, I'm just talking to you. Yeah. She just wants me to get you to sign. Okay, cool, sir. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'd love a water, please. Yeah, thank you. Company. I don't know. What's my company? Thank you very much. Cheers. Treat me well. Now, I won't lie. I was slightly nervous for my fake, unscheduled meeting with one of Clear Channel's biggest bosses. So much so, that when she did come down and ask me who I was, I panicked and locked my phone, thus turning off my video. So there is no footage of that, but trust me, we chatted for about two and a half minutes, I pitched her the idea, and she didn't call security. Thanks very much. <laughs> so I don't know what just happened there. Walked in, she was very, very suspect of who I was. She seemed to quite like the idea. She's asked me to send through all of the, um, all of the details. But we will have to see what happens. I did just that, gave it a bit of a kooky title and she replied, surprisingly, and said that if I was being serious, I needed pictures in the right specs. It wasn't a promise, but at least it meant I could go out and get started. Now, time to get some pictures. So, the people at the billboard company came back and said, we like the idea, but we need some pictures now. We've got a friend of mine to take some pictures this evening. I now need to kind of recreate Maximus Bucharest with what I've got in the house. I do still have the pink rug that we used in the first one. That's mine. It's Johnny Concrete. T-shirts there. Izzy tape. Oh, Conker. A duck. This is all good stuff. I then had to recreate the old Maximus, but also add a few new touches for this particular campaign. What else can I do? What if I cut some of this up into small bits and then attach it to one, like, tiny pieces? <laughs> like you've got shaving cuts, but on your hands. Yeah, that's exactly right. On your face? Because you've been trying to shave? Yeah, I'm going to see how easy they, like, stick. Loads of them on. This is a piece I like to call Roll. When the final touch is done, just need to do get into character. Maximus, how do you feel about the, uh, the shut up? And away we went. Love that. It's all in the hips, remember? It's like a real perspective going. Oh, 
After 45 minutes of snapping, we had some shots, which included masterpieces like Whoa, Where's His Right Foot, Stairway to Heaven, and The Chiropractor Will See You Now. Ultimately, it was decided that DSC0367.jpg would be the photo that the world would see. A photo which encapsulated the model so famous, he doesn't need a brand to pay for a billboard camera. Next step was to add some design to make sure no one could be mistaken as to who made this all happen. And finally, I sent it back to Clear Channel. I sent the email on the 11th of February and waited and waited for a reply. Weeks turned into months and my emails were falling on deaf ears. But finally, two and a half months after I first stepped into Clear Channel, they slammed the door on Maximus's face, stating that they did not see how it could fit their brand positioning. Now, this hurt. Two months of work had seemingly gone down the drain, but it wasn't time to give up there, no. This was going to happen, no matter how long it took. My final plan was to go through and message anyone and everyone who worked for a billboard company. Surely my 500 plus connections on LinkedIn would impress the stuffiest of CEOs. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. And what's in it for them? Well, the opportunity to work with Maximus Bucharest and to be associated with one of the greats. And finally, after weeks, a shining light appeared. Someone who was keen for a chat. Sam from Daylight LED, a bastion in the billboard community. Hello. Hi, is that Sam? Speaking. Hi, um, Sam, it's my name's Max Fosh. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? I'm alright, thanks. How are you? I'm very, very well. Your, so, your name's Max. Is it, you say Max Fosh? Max Fosh. Ma uh, Max. Max Fosh. Right. It's a tricky name, sure. But this was my one shot. I was gonna go for it. It could be great brand exposure. There's no there's no cost on your end at all. I will supply the images and the right specs. I don't know how much I don't know really what, how it works with billboards, but I assume it just kinda gets plugged into a system and they get put up. So that's really where we are at the moment. Right, okay. Uh, whether you think it's interesting, whether it's something that you'd love to get on board with. I'll just chuck it in for the beginning of May, hopefully I'm being optimistic, but uh, say that that's going to be um, our release date and um, yeah, put it up for that. Amazing. Sam, thank you so much. No worries, my pleasure. Um, speak to you later. Uh, yeah, speak to you later. Yes. All the best. Bye. Yeah. Bye, bye. Yes! Come on! Ecstatic with this breakthrough, I sent Sam the pictures and he said a day. It got actioned and then Maximus finally got his opportunity to show London his majesty. The billboards were in some of the most iconic parts of London. Notting Hill Gate, a stone's throw away from the famous Portobello Road, King's Cross, where Harry and Ron did something naughty, and on one of the busiest roads in the UK which thousands pass every day. It needs no explanation Maximus's cultural prominence, a man defying history by becoming the first model to get his own billboard campaign completely for free. This required a quick call to someone who had maybe thought that Maximus had lost his touch. Guess who it is? Just want to remind you who the more relevant model is. No, because there's only one model in this town, and that's Maximus Bucharest. I want the world to see it. There's another 17 million more out there. Oh no! Don't look at that. That's the other. That's the other advert. You're nothing. Now that he could bask in his superiority, Maximus, you know, took it all in. Fans flocked from far and wide when they heard the news because they know who the GOAT of the fashion world is. Of course, the real winners in this are Daylight LED, Con and Nathan Bates for making this all happen. And so go give them some love. They've proved to you all that Maximus is still number one. <laughs>